Hey, it's baseline. So it's a rainy day here in San Francisco, but San Francisco is a perfect example of a city that does not know what its left hand is doing from its right hand. It has separate points that don't make sense and are not congruent, which causes confusion when it comes to law enforcement. And that is the center of baseline arguments. I'll give you a perfect example. If you get a ticket for camping, if you get a ticket for, you know, open container, what they call lifestyle tickets, that's what they call them, lifestyle tickets, they're non-moving violations. Then when you go down to the Hall of Justice, you know, you don't even have to be arrested for them. You just go down there, call an 800 number, and they'll clean the tickets off you. If the cops don't like you, and they want to arrest you for your warrants, for your sleeping on the ground while no one cared, then all they do is give you a ride. That's actually right. I asked them, how do I clean these tickets up? Do I go to the precinct or do I go down to the Hall of Justice? And they said, if you go to the precinct, we'll just give you a ride down to the Hall of Justice. So me being a great citizen, and let me just go down there and take care of it. But what was interesting is that the threat of these tickets supersedes the real threat of it, which is nothing. You go down there, you call an 800 number, they throw them out. You know, it, it, it's called the amnesty program. So in other words, they're writing tickets that don't mean anything. That if you have a little bit of imagination, and if you don't run from the police, and you have a little bit of civic ingenuity, then you won't spend one day in jail. You won't even be handcuffed. They'll just be thrown out. So they're writing tickets for no reason, just to be shredded. Hey, let's take these tickets over here, let's print them, and then we'll go over there and they'll be shredded. If the individual has enough sense to simply follow the rules. It's, it makes no sense. This is the left hand not knowing what the right is doing, the right not knowing what the left is doing. I'll give you another ex 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 excellent example. Sorry, I just woke up. Look at this. This is the logo for the San Francisco Parks and Recreation. Okay? There it is. It's a girl swinging on a tree on a rope swing that has been hung. This is the official logo of San Francisco. Parks and Recreation. So I'm going to give you... Hi, guy. How are you? Good to see you. So I'm going to give you an example, another example, that is a... Essentially, well, I guess it would still be a criminal example if you were written a ticket for it. And we're going to roll down there real fast and I'll show it to you. So remember, the Parks and Recreation logo was a girl swinging on a tree from a rope swing that was hung off of a tree. That is on every vehicle that is on Parks and Recreation. It's a delightful image. Makes you feel good. It's a little girl having fun. You know, it's great. You know, it's what you should think about the park. You know, going out and having fun. You know, that's what Golden Gate Park's about. You know, just like sleeping in it or camping or doing whatever. So let me show you this. Right here it says, Climbing or affixing items to trees is prohibited. Climbing or affixing items to trees is prohibited. There are no swings on trees in Golden Gate Park. So what the fuck? How did that get approved? This is an example of where San Francisco's liberalism, which is excellent and I approve of, doesn't know one hand from the other. Okay, we write tickets to be shredded unless you're stupid enough to let them get piled up and then get baton blown. We show demonstrations of the fun you could have in Golden Gate Park when it's prohibited. There's an easy fix to this. There's lots of room, there's lots of fun, there's lots of people, no one gives a shit. The reason I ran for mayor is to put some of this shit together. And I'll be back, it's baseline.